I'm the father of Mark Kallenberger, an offensive lineman at the University of Iowa. Uh, again, to, to talk about, uh, just to, to tag on to what Randy was talking about, we're here to, really what we want is transparency. Everything was done uh, without anybody being in the know and, and that goes more so for uh, all of our sons. The okay, decisions that were made have not really been communicated to them. So, you know, that's really what we want. We want transparency. What does transparency look like? What exactly do you want to know from the Big Ten? What, first of all, the, the letter that uh, the commissioner put out, uh, in our minds, left more questions than it gave answers. So when we talk about transparency, was there a vote or wasn't there a vote? You, we've all seen the, the quotes out now. You guys in the media have all seen it. Uh, with the University of Minnesota, they said, well, there wasn't a vote per se. The letter says the, that the Big Ten uh, President's Council uh, had a vote. Well, was there a vote or wasn't there a vote? Transparency means that they, they talk you through the process. Okay, so that, that's really what it means. Don't put people in the dark and let us know exactly what the thought processes were going into it. Listen, nobody's gonna argue that this isn't, this isn't a real virus. We all get that. We all understand it, okay? But why is it we could go from having a schedule put out to six days later, a hard shutdown? You know, every school has their protocol. We at the University of Iowa felt very comfortable in what our medical staff was doing. We all had a uh, conference call, Zoom call, with our team doctor, every parent was on it. And he went through what they were doing to mitigate the risks. We felt very comfortable after that call that we knew exactly what we were getting into, whether it was gonna be safe. Listen, our, our kids are, are grown men, okay? They can make their own decision. Do they wanna play, don't they wanna play? And I can tell you from my standpoint, talking with my son, he wants to play. I don't know if I've ever heard more disappointment in a young man's life than, than when the final word came out and, and Commissioner Warren said he would not revisit this. You know, having to talk your kids through that you know, process isn't an easy thing. Listen, life isn't going to be easy. We all know that. Everybody standing here behind me, uh, all you guys, okay, there's always going to be disappointment in life. And how do you handle that? And that's what we're doing. Listen, we got a voice. We want to use it. Our kids uh, may not be comfortable speaking out or, you know, the programs may say, hey, listen, just sit back. There's not a lot that you can say right now, uh, but we can use our voices. And that's really what we're doing. So transparency, yes, to answer your question. That's what we want to know. Who are the, who's the, the medical team making the decisions? What were the decisions? Who were the, the schools voting yes or no? Uh, we just, we want to know that. Okay. And was there a vote? Yes. What would you be What would it what would it look like? Yeah, what would it look like? You know, less games. I mean, just describe. Ideally well, I think I think they came out and said uh, a ten game schedule. Fine, let's go. Let's move forward with the ten game schedule. You know, let's see. At least start it. You, you've got three conferences right now that are going to go ahead and start a season. Will they finish it? Who knows? Okay, but at least they're going to move forward and try. All right. Listen, nothing about this year, Randy said it best, nothing about 2020 has been, has been like anything we've ever seen, okay? But if we're gonna figure a way through it and, and this thing's not going away, we gotta learn how to live with it. How do we learn how to live with it? Our kids are gonna have to try. So th those are the biggest things. And, and listen, I, I'm sure Ohio State, Illinois, I know they're here. They have parents who are medical professionals as well, as we do, and, and really talking to some of them uh, you start to understand because they dealt with with people that have been COVID, and and so you start to understand. We also know, you know, our kids at, at their age have a better chance of, of bouncing back a heck of a lot quicker than I do at the age of 54. Okay, so that's really where, where we're at. That what does it look like? At least let's try. It. Let's see what it's going to look like. None of us here can can tell you what it's going to look like because we don't know. But at least let's try. Do you envision it being a safer environment to play in January than um, in the fall? It depends on what you talk about, uh, what you mean by safer. Okay, do you think that the coronavirus will be... I'm, I'm not an epidemiologist. I, 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 would, I wouldn't even try to guess what, what it's going to look like in January. I mean, we're talking, you know, over three months away. 
Um, is it going to be around? It's still going to be around. Is it going to be a vaccine? Doubtful. You know, we, everybody hopes so. Um, you know, are we starting to build antibodies towards it uh, in our own bodies? Because we're around it every day. I mean, you guys know that as well as anybody does. You know, you're coming in contact with somebody who's had it, or we're around it every day. Um, if we play in January, how many games and what's that look like? Listen, it, football's a, a tough sport. I, I tell my kids this all the time. You know, by the time I, I played in a small college, by the time I was done playing, I had had back surgery and shoulder surgery. Okay, so it's a rough sport. We know that, but we also understand the risk. If we talk about is it safer to play because of COVID or is it safer to play uh, two seasons, one in the, in the winter, spring, and one in the fall? I don't know, sometimes you gotta argue that might be less safe. Any other questions? I'll, I'll open it up to anybody else who wants to speak. Thank you guys, appreciate it.